Okay, so I'm on my way to... Why do I always say okay at the start of video? Okay! Okay, we're on our way to the Royal Marsden now. Uh, stuck in traffic, so I've taken the opportunity to record a little bit of video. Where are we going? I've lost my mind now. We're on our way to London uh, to go to the Royal Marsden to find out some more information, see the professor there, um, and find a way forward, hopefully, to slow this down. No one has any expectation of being able to cure this cancer at the moment. Uh, there's no research. The only reason I want to research this is to help people in the future. Um, I'm highly researching this. I'm not even doing this like a little bit, giving people tissue samples and giving people information to do with me. I've managed to source other families who have had this type of cancer um, and get information off them. And I'm doing everything I can physically do as a human being to research this. Okay, so we've been in traffic now for, how long have we been in traffic? We've been in traffic for about uh, two and a half hours almost. Still got an hour and 15 minutes to go to get to London. I have to do this almost every other like day, traveling to uh, hospitals and stuff or traveling about to see people and sort things out. And it, it gets really tedious, really tedious. And that's why people uh, only get like a snapshot of like a certain amount of my day. Because uh, I don't want to spend all my time doing this. Uh, there's other stuff I've got to do, and it's important stuff. But Claire, do you want to say hi? Yeah, there's her hand, so she said hi. Okay. I'm waiting for a train. There's my dad, look. Hello, say hello, dad. Hello, dad. Yeah, he's trying to be funny again. No, Why does he always try to be funny? Uh, there's my mum. Somewhere is over here, my mother. There you go. Hello, there's Claire. Claire, do you want to say hello? No, she don't. Oh, typical Claire, eh? Typical Claire. He got married? Yeah. No way. Yeah, it is. History lesson with Dad there. Yeah, now I know where he got married. Yeah. Wow. Waiting for a train to South Kensington. Is that where we're going? South Kensington yeah. to the Marsden. Uh, it's going to be an interesting day. Um, hopefully, we'll find out some more info. Okay, so I've made it to South Kensington. I've recorded this like 10 times. Everyone keeps trying to get in the back of the video and do silly stuff. Uh, my dad's sat next to me somewhere there. Uh, my mum's inside getting a coffee. I am just waiting for said coffee for me before I go to the Marsden and we find out some more stuff. We are using these too, sorry. <laughs> They're just coming out. Um, but yeah. We're just about to go to the Marsden and find out what they say at the Marsden and see if we can get some further progress uh, and see if they know something that we don't. Uh, be nice because I am literally scared to death. Screening room now in the Marsden. Dad's there, mum's there, Claire's hiding. Uh, <laughs> she don't want to be in video. Uh, and waiting for the screening stuff to happen and blood pressure and stuff. Fun. My mum would uh, describe me as this uh, uh, offensive. I would describe Daniel as sometimes very offensive. Fuck off. Offensive. <laughs> My heart's going at like, what was my heart going at? About 114. It was going bum bum. Yeah, it was going <laughs> bum bum. Bum bum, 140. I'm nervous. I am genuinely really nervous. Scary stuff. Hmm. It's like a 
kind of scary D-Day, isn't it? It's uh, C-Day. C-Day. <laughs> Good joke. Good pun, Mum. Good pun. Uh, not the time, though. Not the time nor place. I'm joking. I'm joking. It it's is. fine. It is, exactly uh, I need to be smiling place. and <laughs> figure this crap out. So we, we've seen the first person, haven't we? Yeah. And they've said that surgery is still going to go ahead. So we'll get a surgery. And they've got a couple of other plans uh, if that doesn't work. Um, still got to have biopsies, uh, ultrasound tests and things. Um, yeah, it's one of them. No trip to London is complete without a trip to the Queen's house. Okay, so we've had to stop to get a drink on the way back at Northampton Services. Uh, we've had to go back. We were going to stay in London, but we've got to go back now because I've got to have some more tests and uh, ultrasounds and biopsies and everything done tomorrow. Um, it's interesting what's happened today. When I get back, I'll do a little bit of a, a talk and an ex explanation because uh, there's not very good, not going to be good sound quality here so I'd rather get good sound to explain it all. Uh, there's nothing new. Unfortunately there's nothing new that they know or can do. Um, we, I'll, I'll, exp I'll explain it properly but the, the only thing for further forward is that they'll possibly be able to do some kind of chemo which they don't think will work uh, but they can try it but they've been given the go-ahead to try it if surgery fails which everyone knows will fail so but we're trying we're trying but I'll explain it properly when I get back so it's like quarter past ten we've just got back from the Royal Marsden. So we travelled down there this morning uh, very early. Uh, just got back. Um, the Marsden can't shed any light on anything really for us or offer me any better treatment. Uh, so I've been told by them, uh, the world leaders in this type of thing as well, um, the surgery is the only thing that we can do. Now, there's a backup plan. If this fails, and I think they, as well as everyone else, thinks this is going to fail. Um, so we're, we're going to just, like I've said to everyone, this is becoming a bit more of a research project uh, than my life. But for me, I want it to be that. Um, I'd rather know that I've tried my best to survive than one, go and waste time getting drunk in bars, uh, two, going out and searching for a life somewhere else in the world or going and exploring things that I can't enjoy because I'm in so much pain. So... I think it's important for me to try and survive this at this point in time just to even get like six months or so where I can just enjoy my life. Um, I've asked them to give me a break next week from everything and everyone's quite happy that, that that's okay. Um, I'm going to have some more scans done tomorrow so they need that week anyway um, to kind of sort stuff out and I need that week next week to just get my head around things and try and explore life a bit myself and talk to some people that I need to talk to um, and just just get a handle on things. So tomorrow uh, I'm going to another hospital 
um, to have ultrasound along with uh, biopsies. So biopsies are going to be done ultrasounds of all the area in my side, back and around there, just to make sure that we know how many tumours have grown. Because um, there's quite a few by the looks of it. It's a very short space of time for all this to happen. It's a very short space of time to have regrowth in the area that was cut out. So literally the area was cut out and it's pretty much grown back there again. Um, so it's it's rapidly spreading. Um, it's in my in my blood system, so it could deposit anywhere. So it's time critical now and needs to be dealt with appropriately. And it's down to me how I have this dealt with. Because I need to make educated decisions on things. So I've got a specialist who's giving me advice on diet. There's someone who's going to give me advice on how to keep fit and healthy. I've put on a little bit of weight. Um, but just to show you, if I get the camera one sec, uh, that, that's my belt there. So there's my, that's where it used to be here and there. So that's how many belt notches it's gone down. Uh, my trousers don't fit either at all. Um, so yeah, I've lost a lot of weight. Um, uh, so I need to put it all back on if I can and just sort myself out. So the way I'm going to do this going forward um, is that we are going to attempt to survive this. I'm going to attempt to survive this for as long as physically possible to look into it as much as physically possible. So yeah. There's no, there's no single person who has cancer who doesn't know that feeling of um, woe, worry, and um, basically know that feeling of um, waiting for, for something better to happen. I'm under no illusion that something better is going to happen. But I've got hope. And that hope is uh, driving me forward. I know that the pain that's probably coming is going to be worse than what I've got now and unbearable. Um, I know if it goes to certain parts of my body, some of my body won't function. and I may have to uh, l lose those parts. But, you know, what can you do? Gotta live on. And like I keep saying, I'm not going to give in and I'm not going to give up on this. I want to find an answer. And I think it's important for me to find that answer. And if I don't find it, maybe someone learns from this in the future. So, yeah. Till tomorrow and another hospital day. Have fun. And if you're awake all day, Enjoy your day. If it's your bedtime, go bed. Um, but yeah, see you tomorrow.